Last time on Survivor San Diego. Leilani outlasted Talladega. All right, we're about to win this easy. I can do it backwards. We're winning this one. Reed, Reed, you need to hurry. I really think that the merge is coming soon. We don't have to vote anybody out next week. And it feels bad. I really feel bad for Rachel because she came back to see the Scrabble board and was like, what the hell? And my team is dumbasses. I really do wish I was on the other team right now. I don't know. Whatever. Rachel's going down. With having the week off. I actually have to play a lot of games this week. I might have to calculate a plan this week. And over on Talladega, Splash Zone met up and planned on how they will proceed in the merge. It's fine. Let's, Let's get rid of Brandon. Brandon will be our target once we go in. It's fine. Being in the minority, Rachel and Dylan were not going down without a fight. Dylan has confirmed with us he has the idol. And because of that, they're going to vote off of Rachel. And so I just saw Tommy. And so he was like, Rachel, I'm so sorry to tell you this. We're voting you off. For me. They're not gonna vote out Dylan because they think he's gonna use the idol now, which he is, but he's not gonna use it on himself. He's actually gonna use it on Rachel. And Rachel and I can finally vote off Sam and get our revenge for Kristoff. Sixth person voted out Survivor San Diego 1 District, Sam. 10 survivors remain. Who will be voted out next? When uh, Ronan asked us if anybody had any hidden immunity idols and Dylan paused, I literally, I looked over at him, I shot him a glance, I was like, buddy, you <laughs> gonna use it? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, my heart was pounding. I'm looking at everybody around me, looking at Sam in specific. I like almost made eye contact, like as the votes are getting like read off, there's four against me. The first one, I'm like, thank god Dylan, like, use the immunity idol on me. The second one pulls out Rachel, I'm like, mm, like heart pounding even faster. Then the third one, the third one is where it gets tricky because if it was Dylan and they were smart and did two votes me, two votes Dylan, but and they weren't smart enough. And we knew that, we planned on it. The third vote was pulled out, it was me. I was like, okay, I kind of calmed down a little bit because I was fine. No way. So this is a couple minutes after uh, the Talladega Tribal Council. And I just got word from Dylan that they got Sam out. The plan worked. No way. Sorry, splash zone, but can't get us wet. Can't get us wet. The snake's head is off. Now we gotta go do the tribe uh, competition. Hopefully we get the news that it's merge. I'm hyped, let's go. <sighs> Dude, my alliance is gone. Sad, really sad about what happened yesterday. I'm confused, but it's all good, yo. I'm still gonna win this game. Dylan, I guess, found the immunity idol, and then he played the immunity idol, strangely enough, on Rachel, so I guess they took a gamble that we were gonna have the merger because otherwise there would've been no point. Um, I would've imagined that Dylan saves the immunity idol for himself, but he chose to play it, which I think is kind of a dumb move personally just because I would have saved it for the merger because I feel like that's when you'd be most in danger. I think that Hannah betrayed us. I think she talked to Rachel. I feel bad for Rachel. I'm thinking maybe I should, I should tell her what's up. <clears throat> Rachel, I'm so sorry to tell you this. We're voting you off. Rachel said she felt targeted and we never really said anything about Rachel. So the only way is if they kind of knew because so that means someone had to have ratted to them, I feel like, right? Like what other reason is there? I think Hannah betrayed us, but it's cool. Brandon and I were talking and he let me know that Dylan has the idol on the other team. And I was like, where'd you overhear it from? And he just wouldn't tell me. I really appreciate that Brandon came to me and was like talking to me and like he talked so much game with me and he's like really like down to strategize with me. Uh, but the thing about Brandon is that he plays really good game. I can tell by his strategy. I can tell by his gameplay. He knows Survivor. He's watched it and he knows exactly what to do. If we get to the very end together, he might get the most jury points because he knows how to talk to everyone really well. He's definitely really smooth with the way he like goes about playing. And obviously I want to work with him. But at the same time, if I can like 
influence him to do something that might be like seen as a little bit messy if I can convince him to have like to do something to betray someone else um I don't want to have to vote him off myself but if other people wanted to vote him out later on in the game that would probably be better for my game but as for now I really enjoy playing with him thanks for recording that embarrassing video <laughs> I'm here at the best times. <laughs> Did they oh, okay. Sexy. No. Sexy. Oh. Welcome Talladega. Welcome Leilani. As Leilani knows, Sam was voted out in a blindside tribal council. It is now five to five. I want to congratulate you guys because Leilani and Talladega are no more. You guys are now merged. So this is where you clap. This is where you clap. Everybody, say hello to your new tribe mates. You guys will be wearing green from now on. Green? So, you know you what? Green's my favorite color. Can we choose? <laughs> oh, 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 this is offensive to our culture. We don't have to hate each other no longer. <laughs> this is offensive to our culture. <laughs> Yeah, mine was getting a little nasty. So wait, what is your tribe name? Oh, wait. Layla Dega. Layla Dega. The Layla Dega tribe. We could do the Ronin lovers. We'll come back to this. Think of a better one. What do you mean? Not Layla. Layla. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that shit. <laughs> All right. You led Talladega and Leilani passed. Leiladega. All right. He just doesn't want to spell it. No, I'm not doing that. All right, guys. So this is the immunity challenge. So today, there is no more tribal immunity. You guys are playing for individual immunity. It's not the most. Um, Pretty ugly, honestly. How many? It's necks? cute. I love it. How many? One of our necks could that fit around? It barely fits around my neck, but I'm a little more. So, so you little get choked. Yeah. So <laughs> this is how the challenge works. So I gave you guys nine pictures to study, or ten pictures, or something like that, and I will be quizzing you guys on those pictures. So I hope you guys studied, because it could come back to bite you. On your whiteboards, you're going to be answering the question. There will be no communication whatsoever. You'll be writing your answer. On three, I will tell you to flip your board, show me your answer. If you are correct, I will give you a ping pong ball. You will stand at the line and you get to pick anybody in the entire tribe to go for a cup. Every person has three cups, as in three lives. Hope everybody understands. We will get started right now. What? Can you make your own cup? No, you can't make your own cup. Stop <laughs> trying to get yourself eliminated. <laughs> Lord Ronan gave us all 10 pictures and he just says memorize it. So we have a memorization comp, we have a brain comp, intelligence comp, whatever you, whatever you want to describe it. It's not a physical comp. I just woke up, um, drinking a bang and I need to study the photos that Ronan sent us if I want to make it in this challenge. I just started looking at the pictures and 
I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Just looking at these pictures, you know, there could be so many different things on them and there's so many pictures. I really am not good at this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do well. There's an Uber fare picture, pictures from his childhood, his job schedule, a bunch of animals, some fruits, the states and the capitals. I think I have a pretty good memory, but holy fuck, I have no idea what is gonna go through. So. I think I'm just gonna try to remember the pictures as best as I can. Looking forward to tomorrow though and seeing what these pictures mean. We are gonna be, it's gonna be wild. Everyone is freaking out right now because everyone's just going in studying them. It was around one and a half hours till our voting ceremony and I'm sitting here studying where, studying everything the Ronin sent over. Some of them are really random pictures. Some of them is really distinct. The US with all of their states, with all of their capitals, all in different colors. So we have to remember 50 different colors with all of their states and which place they are and where the capital is in every state. Getting it down, I've memorized um, that. You know, we're doing good. And then there's just like, there's some easy pictures where it's Dugal. Just nine pictures of Dugal. The same nine pictures of Dugal. Maybe it's a merge competition. Maybe it's free for all, so who knows? First picture in the Uber receipt, in the Uber picture. What time did the Uber X estimate to drop off? Everybody flip. The answer is 9.28 p.m. <laughs> Hannah got it right. Chris got it right. Tommy got it right. Take a ball, go for it. You get one shot. Watch your elbows. Watch your elbows. Tommy misses. Chris, who are you going for? Anna. Anna? Anna did not make it. <laughs> Anna does not make it. Staying on the Uber question. How much was the full Uber? Two, one. The answer was 24.04. .04. So keep your answers up. Tommy does not get it right. Reed, Rebecca, you. Anna, take a shot. Anna whips the shot. The girl all the way to the left was wearing a red shirt. All right, everybody flip. Everybody said false. It is a boy. <laughs> Anna's going for Rachel. Oh. Hey. Oh. I missed. <laughs> Brent sucks. Brent sucks. Chris is going for Hannah. I don't think there's water in those. Yeah, no, that's not regulation. Okay, ready this time. Hannah makes the second cup of the game. Her memory's too good. She's just taking too much shots so far. Yeah, what shot was that? All right, everybody flip. The correct answer is false. Looks like everybody gets it right except for Chris. How does it feel to be wrong once again? How does it feel to be shorter than me? What time do I work on Wednesday? Like the start time or the whole? From start to finish, For uh... the whole shift. The correct answer was 11 to eight. Hannah, again. Oh. Hannah, that was a guess, honestly. Would, what did you pick? 06, 26. Close. We're gonna be here for a while. Does she have a photographic oh, memory? The picture with all the Dugals, one of them is not the same as the rest. No, no, no. Ronan, don't mess with my mind here. <laughs> this is an emotional question. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is real. an emotional question. All right, right put your boards. There's no way. The correct answer is false. They are all just the same. <laughs> Everybody gets it right except for the whole <laughs> I, I looked at that picture for way too long. I oh. oh. is down to one oh. no way. Oh. Go for Rachel's going for Hannah. Oh. Rachel gets a little revenge from Hannah. Dylan missed Hannah. Going for Hannah. Can I get gentlemen's? No. <laughs> Chris is going for him. This is a college survivor show, and this is not good. How in the rating? graduation picture, was there a red umbrella in the background? True or false? 
<laughs> Flip your boards. The correct answer is Rue. Uh, that's a can like, of it. It's a can of it. It's a 10, actually. Listen here, you little shit, Ronan. That was a canopy, not a fucking umbrella. Get it right next time. I was right, you were wrong. Chris Mason for Hannah. Next one, Macaroon Ball. If I just keep on getting it wrong, I won't make any enemies. And no one will go for me. <laughs> one thing I remember. Rachel goes for Hannah. Hannah's out of this competition. You do not have a shot at individual immunity. Hannah, you can wait over there if you want. Hey guys, it's just my brain is so powerful and everybody is threatened by my genius because I'm just such a troubled genius and you know, they really like to target people like me who are just fucking a gift to God and the world with my massive brain. <laughs> oh. Brandon takes out Reed. Two Talladega members already out, two old Talladega members. The tangerines are $4.99 each. The tangerines are $4.99 each. <laughs> Flip your boards. The correct answer is false. They're $4.99 per pound. Dude. Oh. Dre, oh. Bella, Dylan. I feel like a dumb dumb. Rachel. <laughs> you think this tiny think You would pay $5 for a dream? <laughs> I was like, oh, dude. Brandon, it's time to go for Brandon. Tommy, oh. That hit right here, Tommy. Yeah. Successful. Bastard. Dylan makes one for Tommy. Uh, uh, Tommy is out of this competition. Rachel takes out another person. This is the worst day of my life. I feel like a failure to everyone I've ever known. And I feel like my life is over. I will take multiple answers. Name the first row of animals. Everybody click your boards. Oh, you're supposed to list them. I'm dumb. It says dolphin, <laughs> dolphin, 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 dolphin. There's no bird. I thought oh, it was the category. I'm <laughs> Bro, go for me and get me out. Bella wants to get out of this competition. Feels pretty safe. Wow. And Bella's out. Bella can go home. Bella. Yeah. yeah, let's go get some Taco Bell. What is the capital of South Dakota? What, what is the capital of South Dakota? <laughs> what is the capital of South Dakota? All right, everybody flip your board. Wait, no. The correct answer is Pierre. No. Not South Dakota City? Rachel has it right. <laughs> Random. South Dakota City is incorrect. <laughs> what is the capital of California? You have to spell it correctly. If you get this wrong, you're out of the competition. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. All right, everybody flip your board. You better do some Dr. Benos. Good. Everybody gets three shots. That's sick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're gonna see a werewolf in about a week. That's a waxing gibby. Gibby! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dylan makes one for Brandon. An eye for an eye, Dylan. Get really close to those. Like, really close. You guys hate me, huh? Rachel makes one. I need you to pull up. Dylan is out of this competition. I'm sorry, girl. There's only one remaining Talladega. Old Talladega. Rachel. Rebecca trying to take Rachel out of this competition oh. and succeeds. Rachel and Dylan, I'm sorry, but you guys will not be safe for this next trouble. You still get a shot, right? You still get a shot. You still get three shots. No pressure. No. No pressure. I think it's like they need three out of 20 shots to get you. <laughs> oh, Dylan <laughs> takes out Chris. He gets his revenge. Wow, this is a final <laughs> draw to get me out. Dylan and Chris are out of this competition. Three people left. Brandon with one cup, Rebecca with two cups, Dre with two cups. Guys, we're going to mad. We're going to multiplication right now, okay? <laughs> We went through all the questions, and I don't, I don't have my phone anymore. So we're going to math. So we're doing math. You're doing math right now. What 
is 33 times 6. What? What is 33 no, no. times 6? You are kidding! 33 times 6? You're on I'm the like, bench. This yeah. is coming from a math major. <laughs> the correct answer was 198. Dre with double that. Rachel and Brandon get it right. I heard the wrong thing. <laughs> What'd you put it? My 498. Uh, Rebecca gets it. <laughs> go. Dre, you didn't get it right. Okay. <laughs> Try to go over here. Okay. okay. <laughs> Brandon is punishing Dre for not knowing math. <laughs> okay. Dre, Try to punish me, nerd. <laughs> it is down to one oh, cup, Brandon. Sorry. One <laughs> sorry. One, one, <laughs> and two, Dre. <laughs> what is 56 times 23? Oh wait, they have boards. Yeah, they can do the math. <laughs> it's not that Team Leilani is the only one in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's what happened. There was five members of Talladega and five members of Leilani, so. Three, two, one. The correct answer is 1,288. What do you get, Rebecca? <laughs> Rebecca did not Whoops. get it right. Brand, uh, Dre and Brandon get it right. Ooh, is that, <laughs> is that the showman's name? <laughs> what went wrong? You didn't care to see him? Rebecca. What? You didn't care either one. Okay. Oh. We're gonna go to Brandon. No way. This can end it right here. Oh. Oh. Not end it. Rebecca is out of this competition. Oh, Guys, I just want everyone to know that's watching that studying does not matter. Don't study for your test. I didn't study and I'm here. For... <laughs> All right. Your next question. What is 98 times 52? Uh -huh. I didn't think we were going to come down to math. <laughs> <laughs> didn't think it would be these two boobs, but here we are. Two, one. The correct answer is 5,096. Both Didn't carry the one, right. Dylan. Dylan tries to chime in, but. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to two balls only, okay? okay? Two balls. That's it. How many balls? Two balls. <laughs> Dre, Yo, that's carry it correctly. Oh, it's Still. Mm. Yes. Oh. Dre can end it with these next two balls. It was a very long competition. I told you guys you need to study, but honestly, it came down to just not making cups. <laughs> Dre, how much did you study? I have to ask. Like, while wow, you were explaining the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Dre did some last minute cramming and ended up winning the challenge. Dre, this is for you. Come up here. I know it's not the best thing to look at. Turn around for me. All right. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I gotta crouch. All right, Dre is safe for the next tribal council. For the rest of you guys and the people who left, one of you guys will be going home and being the first member of our jury. Congratulations, Dre. Everybody, do a round of applause. That's all I got for you guys. Head on out. I will see you guys Thursday. It's all for one and one for all. Crazy to think that I made it here. Thank you, nobody, for voting me out. Um, all y'all who put my name on the ballot that one time, still holding a grudge against you. Brandon, I know it was you. Dre won, which was good and bad. I know, well, I hopefully know that Dre doesn't have anything out for me and that his vote won't be towards me, so. Came through with the dub again. <laughs> Uh, it's been real busy though. I've been uh, doing a bunch of work and stuff on my cars. Only people I would even vote for are uh, Tommy, because he went for me and my boy Brandon. Rachel, because she went for me like 15 times in the game. And Hannah, because she went for me. But I mean, I think I won just because I had the least people going for me, you know? Wasn't making all the questions at the beginning. Getting it wrong, I won't make any enemies. And no one will go for me. <laughs>
then shoot, then make enemies. And coming from my part where I'm allied with Rebecca, Dre, Chris, you know, Bella, because she's in the same, she was from the same tribe as me, and, you know, newly allied with Rachel and Dylan, all it left me with was Hannah, Tommy, and Reed. So I didn't have, I didn't have many options, and I didn't want to make it very obvious because no one from my tribe besides Rebecca knows that I've been talking to Rachel and Dylan. So I have to, I have, I had to kind of go for Rachel and Dylan somewhat and go for, you know, Dre and Chris and Rebecca as well, but. I know that Team Leilani was trying to hold an alliance, like to stick together. I don't know if that's a thing. I know that I'm loyal and I will not backstab bitches like some of these people. So I didn't do that well. At a certain point, I, I took it more lightly than others. Just because, you know, I wasn't the first out. It's the first person winning and I didn't really expect to win. So, honestly, the only person everyone was really going for out of spite rather than just to get them out for their own immunity was Hannah. And that's how I felt too. I realized she had the best memory in the challenge. So I'm like, might as well get her out. And she was just giving me a stank eye the whole time after that. So, I also, when I asked my tarot cards about what was going to happen, with the voting today, they said that there would be like information that I didn't know, a sudden upset. I totally read it wrong because I thought it was going to be like me getting voted off, but no. But yeah, today at the challenge, I knew too much and I went too hard at the beginning and they got my ass for that, period. And Rachel was very upset, which is valid, but it felt personal. I was like, it's all good. We merged. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen with that. My old, my alliance probably thinks that it was me that fucked them over, it wasn't. Dylan and Rachel aren't fucking stupid guys, like, let's be real. I want to go to bed, and I want to not think about Survivor, and exist peacefully. Who am I anymore? <laughs> like, this shit's like a whole different game. Um, the main target was getting Hannah, Reed, and Tommy out, and it, I, it really reflected on what's happening in the game right now, how the momentum is going, because Hannah got out first, because everyone was going for Hannah, then everyone was going for Tommy, and everyone was going for Reed. They lost all their lives quickly, but uh, it worked out good. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I didn't win. Dre is kind of like my shield. You know, if I got immunity, it wouldn't have mattered. Dre got immunity, it doesn't matter. We also have to vote somebody out tomorrow, and I have no idea who I'm gonna vote. Rachel did make my final cup, which I was kind of butt about because that was my girl. Girl, <laughs> go for me and get me out. Wow. And Bella's out, Bella can go home. I fucking forgot what I was gonna say, bruh. I hope you're gonna edit all this out. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna be probably voting out one of the boys just because they're one of the stronger members. Chris is really strong, Dylan is really strong. Brandon is really strong, and Tommy are pretty strong. I think I'll be fine in the next tribal council. I've talked to a lot of other people, both from my previous tribe in Talladega, and it seems like a lot of us are on the same page as who's going out, and it's, uh, it's not gonna be me. So, for at least uh, tomorrow, I'll be safe. And you know, Talladega, they're pretty like shattered right now. They're pretty split. Uh, Leilani's pretty strong and so that's great. So yeah, we're all pretty sure Hannah's going home. You know, I talked to Rachel, her and Dylan are gonna get behind it. Everyone's planning to get Hannah out. You know, it's not, it's actually not my idea. People have come up to me saying, oh, let's get Hannah out, I'm down. We have six votes for Hannah. The problem then lied yesterday Reed texted me and basically Reed was trying to convince me to get either Rachel or Dylan out. As long as Rachel gets out of the game before me, I'm chilling. <laughs> At any point, whenever it happens, as long as she's out before me, that's what matters to me. It really just means like, who's gonna be like preventing me from winning, you know? Let's, let's think of it that way. Who's gonna stop us from getting the farthest? I think Rachel, in my, uh, yeah. The reason I say Rachel is because like, she's just so weird how she goes about talking to people. And I feel like now with everything that's happened, um, like her and Dylan could be reaching out to people on Leilani to form alliances and like potentially could be picking me because obviously 
everything that's happening. The app now Sam's out, the next person is me. Dylan's pretty smart too. I don't know if it was Dylan that came up with the idea with that that idol or if it was Rachel like kind of not manipulating, persuading him to do it. I might have to calculate a plan this week. Brandon, actually. He told me and Rachel that he wants to help us. I'm assuming what we do is tell Dylan to use the idol on Rachel and then they both vote out someone like Sam. Is uh, that what you want to do then? You want to vote either Dylan or Rachel? Well, you did say you wanted to get Rachel out before you got out. So should we just confirm that? Like, just get that out of the way, you know? Just like, it seems like you have some sort of beef. Yeah, okay, I'm down for that. Okay. Um, but I feel like that would be the obvious choice. You know what I okay. mean? So I feel like maybe we shouldn't do Rachel and we should go for like Dylan. Okay. Cause that would be like a sneak attack. You know what I mean? Let's yeah, let's go for Dylan then. Okay. Yeah, then we'll, we'll single out Rachel and then, you know, take her down. I kind of lied to him. I just told him what I, he wanted to hear. So Brandon was telling me that Reed approached him, sort of started talking to him, you know, said like he wants Rachel or Dylan to go home. Brandon was like, yeah, dude, like, I'll try to make that happen. Let me, like, get some people. You get some people, we'll vote him out. Brandon, like, he was telling me he felt, like, pretty guilty, like, lying, going behind people's back. I don't want to uh, make it appear that I lied to him. I don't feel like this move is very conniving on my part. I'm just kind of telling them what they want to hear. Reed, Hannah, Tommy, um... They are voting for either Rachel or Dylan, which is honestly what we already expected was gonna happen. And then right before tribal, I'm just gonna text Reed and be like, hey, I didn't get the numbers. I couldn't, I couldn't convince anybody. I couldn't convince Dre, Chris, or Becca. You know, I couldn't get the numbers, so I had to vote Hannah out, you know? I hate to say it, but it did make me feel sort of good just because, you know, there's 10 of us left now. Seven will be jury. I'm trying to be on good terms with everyone. I don't want to look like so backstabby and like betraying people, breaking promises. I really think that Brandon will probably end up being in the final three as well. I definitely don't want him to win over me, so. I will say the people in Talladega are just struggling right now. They are, they are all over the place. Talladega just drew a line in the sand with Kristoff's eviction and it has been downhill from there, so. The splash zone kind of in shambles. I trust Reed the most, I think, of anyone in this game. I think before Reed trusted Sam more, but now he doesn't have a choice because Sam's gone. Hello? Oh, what's up, Tommy? What's good? Dude, yeah, so I talked with Brandon. Um, he said he's down to vote Dylan. Like he vote was he Dylan? was down he was down to vote Rachel, but I said we should yeah. do I said we should do Dylan because Rachel is too obvious. Dylan or Rachel? The thing is, I feel like Rachel has a better chance of winning immunity, you know? And they said they'd vote with us? Yeah. Oh shit. That's then we're golden, bro. Yeah. If we get that's, five, that's, we're if, good. that's if that's if we can trust it. his word. That's the thing. I feel like we can. I don't feel like he's being like super sneaky, but it's not someone from Team Leilani, you know what I mean? So they're not technically losing anything. If anything, they're getting rid of a competitor. I don't know, man. I feel like I just, something's off. Something's off, man. Maybe I'm just tripping. <sighs> Honestly, I have no clue what Leilani, former Leilani's are thinking. I wonder if Rachel and Dolan have been talking to Leilani people if they're in a five man we are so fucked and honestly i i feel like they'll go for me before they go for reed i wonder what their alliance name is maybe sahara desert uh, don't put that in i'm hopeful but nervous you scroll through the chat she said oh um i don't think the females are going to want to vote for another female yeah she did say that Maybe bring that up. Maybe bring up the fact that like all the females could possibly team up together. All right, well, maybe switch it up then. Maybe we go for Rachel. We're gonna vote out Rachel, not Dylan. Okay, Rachel, yeah. After Let's what do we it. just Let's discussed. Rachel. Okay, tell, talk, talk to Brandon, let me know what he says. All right, bro. 
Peace. I'll be, right. here, I'll be looking for your word. But yeah, so Reed texted me, oh, I have big news, I have big news. Um, I was like, okay, what is it, what is it? And he said that the girls are trying to align with each other. They're trying to make a big female group. I don't know where it's coming up. This might be coming out of his ass. I'm not even gonna talk to Rebecca about it. I'm not even gonna be like, hey, Rebecca, are you making a female group? Let's be real here. I, that, that would just show that I don't trust her. I completely trust Rebecca. I don't believe in a fucking word that Reed's saying. Hannah did text me um, and she was like, who are you voting for? I just said, I don't know yet. What about you? And she said, I don't know. I decided that if I keep, if I don't get voted off, I am going to play this game in such a loveless and heartless way. I have no idea who's getting voted out. Dre's telling me to vote out Hannah, but Hannah's telling me to vote out Dylan. I'm so out of the loop, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, I'm not even invited to the parties that they have on the low. Like, like I don't know, I'm not, I just ain't friends with nobody. I'm just like a quiet lone wolf. That's what's gonna happen. Hannah's definitely going. So, I'm so sorry to everybody that I'm disappointing. I'm sorry that I'm being shady. I'm sorry. This is the moment that I snap. Like, cause if I can't have friends in this game, then I fucking won't. And now we are down to 10 people. It's tradition in Survivor that when you guys merge, you guys have to come up with a name, but you guys never came up with a name. You were giving me stupid shit that I wasn't gonna take. <laughs> and you're still gonna give me a stupid shit right now. So what is your tribe name? Why is everyone looking at me? It's Dizoga. 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 All right, the green tribe for Survivor San Diego 1 District will be well, called really cool Dizoga. Really cool, like, <laughs> like, you sound like you don't like the name. Explosions no. here. As a host, there. I need to ask you a question. Do you not like the name that no, we've chosen? No, it's what was the name so you stupid. Yeah. Dre, Dre, you won the first individual immunity challenge of the season. Dre, you didn't even study at all for this challenge. You studied while I was explaining the rules, and you still came out on top. Do you feel like it was just luck? Did you feel like you needed to win at all, or are you just here to play? You don't even care. Everything's calculated. <laughs> Everything's calculated. Everything's calculated. The man of few words, great. Uh, Reed, I want to turn to you. You know, the last tribal council, undoubtedly, was probably the most insane tribal council we've had all season. What was going on through your head when Dylan stood up, took out the hidden immunity idol, and not to use it on himself, but use it on Rachel? Dude, I was honestly, like, the immunity idol itself, I was not surprised about, but the fact that he played it on someone else, I was like, Wow, that was a big play right there. So definitely took me by surprise, but it was a power move, I'll say that, yeah. Coming from the man himself, Dylan. I guess they thought I would be a little more selfish with it, but I knew that the only way that we could uh, take out Sam and Revenge Kristoff was if I used them, Rachel, so. Cause you could have been voted out. It could have been one of the stupidest moves. So it was very risky, but I tip my hat off to you. Good job. It seems like you got what you wanted done. Uh, Hannah, I want to turn to you. Uh, I don't know if you have a photographic memory or something, but you got a lot of the answers right in the beginning. Do you feel like, you, because you were getting all the answers right, you were a target, or do you feel like that has to do with the actual game itself? Yeah, I'm also disgusting at beer pong too, but I really wasn't on my shit. But yeah, I probably should have gotten a few wrong. Rachel, you know, I feel like a lot of people in this game in the past few days have been throwing the word out um, personal. I'm taking the game personal. I feel like it's really personal now. Do you feel like the game has become personal? I feel like a lot of people came into this game thinking we're just gonna kick it, drink some beers, have some challenges, win some money. But now I feel like I'm starting to see some cracks. I would say that the game does feel a little personal now. More personal than it did at the start. Uh, but also a lot of us came in already being friends. Um, Hannah, I want to turn back to you. When Sam got voted out at the last tribal, he made some kind of remark to you, and I don't think that was fair. I think he just kind of dropped a grenade on you. How'd you do it? Did you reach out to me? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. I told you we should have lied to her. What do you do? You want to reflect on what what he said? Um, shit. I feel like well, it wasn't true, but I'm not too worried about it. Honestly, I feel like. 
it was kind of just an unexpected moment. So I kind of get it. Last thing I'll ask, Dre, what's 33 times six? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it like 488? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I put down like 498. I don't know why. I, put, I just <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I carried the one. The 98 was wrong. Right. The yeah, 90, 98 was wrong. And then there's no, 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 it's 198. Three, it's 100, what? Right? Yeah, it's 198. All right. All right, everybody settle. And with that, we will get to the vote. One by one, each of you guys will be going to the voting booth and casting your vote for who you want out of this game. Dre, you're up first. You know, it's a new game, but we're keeping it the same. I'm so unsure about this, but there we go. I'm voting for you tonight. This is nothing personal at all. Talladega, you're going home one at a time. Um, hi. Um, because I don't know who else to vote and I have no friends. I love you, Tommy. I love your hair. <laughs> oh, fuck. She's salty. Later, bitch. Oh, God. Sorry, you know. All right, I'll go get the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity item and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> All right, I'll read the votes. The person with the most votes will have to leave the tribal council area immediately. First vote, Hannah. Second vote. Tommy. Rachel. 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 That's three votes, Rachel. One vote, Hannah. One vote, Tommy. Hannah. Hannah, we're tied. Three votes Hannah, three votes Rachel, one vote Tommy, three votes left. Hannah. Seventh person vote out of Survivor City, one district. Hannah. All right, you need to bring your torch, Hannah. I'm gonna scroll down to the ground tonight. You need to give me your buff as well. Hannah, you will be the first member of the jury. We will see you in your finale night when you choose the winner of Survivor San Diego. It's time for you to go. When you vote people out in the merge, they're in the jury. So I hope you guys have good relations with these people because they might be the vote that decides if you win the game or not. We will start the challenge in a few minutes. Take ten. I'm not surprised. I was so shady. I was doing the most crazy ass shit to add like the reality TV element to it. So I'm glad I got to be iconic, add a little bad girls club, add a little, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians in there, a little bit of Jersey Shore for the alcohol part. Yeah, I also knew I could tell like by the way people were responding to my messages that I was about to get voted off. Yeah, I had a really fucking good time. I'm glad I played. I don't have to live with the anxiety of this game because, okay, it's really fun in like this controlled like fake setting to be a bad person, you know? <laughs> like, because in real life, I wouldn't fucking do shit like this. Brandon is a really good player, but I think people are gonna realize that and get him out. I think people are underestimating Rebecca 
and Chris because Chris is more subtle. Rachel has a possibility because she's very likable and she's playing the game really well. But I will be back for the jury and I will give my fucking opinion. The following challenge lost most of its footage and the survivors were also blindsided by a shocking twist. One more person will be leaving the game by the end of the night. The challenge was straightforward, an eating competition. The survivors were offered a food. Whoever waged to eat the most food in a certain amount of time earned the right to attempt the task. One task complete equals one point, 15 rounds. If a survivor failed to complete the task, they were eliminated. To speed this challenge up, Rebecca pretty much tried to eat like eight Oreos right off the bat. I think she had like two minutes to do it and she overshot completely. She was eliminated. Surely our cast will learn from her mistakes, right? Nope, because Chris then tried to eat like 12 Twizzlers in the span of three minutes and it completely overshot as well. Next up, we have Reed. Reed tried to eat about 10 saltine crackers in the span of about three minutes, but if you've ever had a saltine cracker, they're very dry. Hilariously enough, Brandon actually had Reed in a secret Santa exchange. Here's a little clip from when he gifted that to him. Lost the challenge. It's probably because I lost the challenge trying to eat these. And then we have my good friend Tommy. Tommy successfully was able to eat about like 10 marshmallows in the span of three minutes. He bossed through it and he completed his task. So Tommy was the first person on the board. Tommy with the first dude. Nope. Fucking way, bro. How much time did you have? Tommy had like 40 seconds left. But then he got a little too overconfident and he tried to eat like six popsicles in the span of two minutes. So three popsicles in one minute? I don't know. It was it was crazy. And he got immediate brain freeze. Apparently his teeth were completely destroyed for like the next like week or something like that. So Tommy was eliminated from the challenge. This is the best challenge ever. No way. I love this challenge. I'm both. <laughs> Joe, talk to me. And that's pretty much the little recap. Um, this is the last time we lose footage. I promise you that. Just something that you guys also need to know is that when the challenge is over, the survivors only have about 15 minutes to talk and discuss on who they're gonna vote out. Thanks. So I have like, <laughs> I have eight serrano peppers. How many can you eat in three minutes? All right, everybody flip your board. Zero, four, five. What do you have, friend? Three. Three. Dylan, you're up. <laughs> I can drink it with it, right? You can drink with it. Fucking, they're taking all my saliva. <laughs> About to eat a dog treat for no fucking reason. <laughs> Dude, it, it took all my saliva. I can't. I can't. Brandon out. No. Dude, I can't. It took all my saliva. I can't swallow it. 
Brandon, take a seat over here. Good job, Brandon. Brandon, oh, out. Nice. The first and only thing he ate was a dog treat. Oh my <laughs> God. Good job, boy. We have a four-way tie with Bella, Dre, Dylan, and Rachel. So you guys got to be making some points. You only have so many fruits to go. All right, I'll be right back. Everybody show your answers now. Dre's not competing. Bella keeps her number the same. Three, Dylan, you're doing it for two minutes and 50 seconds. Dylan, I'm gonna ask you to kill off this one really quick, and then you're good. Dylan, you are on the board. You are currently in the lead. Good job, noise, noise, good noise. Job, noise. Baby, Everybody flip your board. Two, two, no. two, four. No! <laughs> Myself. I don't want to look at them to be quite honest. Get a close up of it. Oh my god, this is a mistake. That's about. I'll eat that. I'll take that as four. Napkins are right there. You're good to go. It is Dylan and Rachel time. <laughs> Throws up on my phone. <laughs> You guys can take a look at how much it is. Why is it a Dre's cup? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> can we smell I it? I guess it's from the other day. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I'll put it in another cup. <laughs> I'm okay. Ugh. Bella's not participating. Rachel's not participating. Dylan, if you get this, you will be on top. No! <laughs> 55 seconds, Bye. Dylan. Two, one, go. Dylan is done. Dylan gets a point. Absolute job. Animal. Jory and Bella, if you do not go for this one, you guys are out. Oh, wait, what the fuck am I talking about? Sorry. Jory, you're out. Doesn't matter. Jory, go. Jory is coming for his second immunity in a row. Jory making pretty good time. Jory eating the stem. You can't do it? Trey with 50 seconds on the clock. Not making good time. Yeah. Trey is out. Oh. Oh. Seven. I gotta eat seven? I need a clear mouth done and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Dylan with Serrano's baby food. Dylan wins immunity. <laughs> Alright. Everybody, everybody Final thoughts, not, Rachel. Everybody who's not playing, I need to put this on here real quick. No, I need some players over here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What are you guys thinking? Okay. We get two the, avenues. Yeah, there's two avenues we can do right now. We could do re Tommy, or we could do Rachel. That's like all the groups that like aren't with us, right? What are, What are you thinking? What are you guys thinking? I would really just say Rook because he's been gunning for me, but Tommy is also been Okay. I mean, either of them, I think. Dude, Rachel yeah, is. If they went in the community, I would have said go for it. Rachel and Dylan are strong, though. There's literally them two in the final right there, but the thing is, like, we could just, like, go Tommy and Reed, you know? Yeah. It's five, so. Well, it's five, and there's only five of them, so our, we don't even need any of them. Yeah. It's just our. We have all There's nine people. people, so we have majority if we all go. <laughs> Hopping in here, it's a whole so, team. Steezo. Okay, no one really wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm Okay, you're right, you're right, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And we'll get her later. Yeah. I feel like this one's like an easy yeah. boat and like... 
Like Rachel thinks she's with us. So like, yeah, why would it be her? Yeah, okay, you're right. You're right. Okay. Is that, is that cool? That makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. okay. You, you, you definitely persuaded me there that, like, I think that's good. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Read the topic. They just follow the rest. Yeah, I know. They're not going to let us. Here's the thing. You can spread out. Yeah. Okay. No, just go that way. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm taking much of a position of authority. Uh, they've all been talking, which is fun, everyone's been winning the challenges. Yeah. If I'm being honest, your name has come up a couple times, but... Yeah. Whoever wins the challenges? Yeah, because, I mean, it's getting the point where it's individual, so... And I'm assuming people are going to vote for Trey. For Trey? You think so? He won the last challenge. If that's the mentality. I did talk to Brandon, and he said that he would vote out Trey if there was enough votes for it. Really? Drew's a strong player. We could have won that, honestly. I'm so surprised, though, honestly, that Bella has remained, like, in the game over, like, Paige and Slynn. Her name came up a lot. I did. But at the moment, she's just sort of... She's not really a threat, you know? She's not a threat, and she's a great with what people are saying in general. I mean, you guys aren't going for those two, are you? Yeah. No, I think that's a common statement. They're really strong. Yeah, yeah. Damn, it's tough. We have to vote. Have you guys talked to Rachel at all? I don't know who she was. I don't know I, I talk, I'm close to her, but I really don't know who she was. You should have talked to her? Because I didn't have enough time to talk to anyone for five minutes. Yeah. She I just do not trust her at all. If you just pick the side from the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. but once you start bouncing back and forth between two teams, I'm like, no homie hoppers. Neutral. Neutral boy is on three. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, this is gonna be a very fast paced season. You guys went into the challenge knowing that someone would be voted out right after. So I wanna to turn to a few people who are actually competing in the challenge. Dylan, I gotta ask, that challenge was all about how bad you wanted it. You also have to use your mind a little bit and think about overshooting or undershooting, but you went for it and you won. Do you feel like you really needed to win this challenge or are you just here to compete? You and Dre are the only people to win individual immunity. Well, I didn't really think I was a target. Like, I didn't have any intentions like that at all. I was just like, well, can I eat this? How many I can eat? So it was completely, it had nothing to do with uh, whether or not feeling like a target. It was just something that I knew I could do. So I just went for it. It was kind of interesting because I thought Rebecca was going to show an example of over overshooting. She was the first person out. And then I but then it. everybody <laughs> constantly <laughs> just decided to take more than they could. You also had to learn from my mistakes. I, I didn't so. think eight red vines that went two every ten seconds. I got this. And then my mouth just went dry. <laughs> I underestimated yeah. the saltines. That's all I was saying. <laughs> so you guys only had like 15 minutes to figure out who it was going to be. Um, I want to just run it by like seeing people splitting up, going into different groups. Do you feel like lines were instantly drawn? Reed and Tommy, you guys just kind of sat back. Is, was that concerning, just seeing everybody walk into the distance? Or what's going through your mind right now? Um, yeah, watching everyone walk in one direction, I was kind of like, oh, we're all gonna go. And I was like, wait a minute, that's all one. That's, I was like, okay, I kind of see what's happening. I was like, oh. Tommy, lastly, I'll turn to you. What do you got to say uh, about it's that? It's definitely worrying uh, seeing the entire form or other tribe together, but Tommy, when you guys voted out Sam, I told you guys that there has to be some unity in the tribe. Do you feel like it's still Leilani and Talladega, or is this Dizoga? Hmm. I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's it's not either. It's a little bit of both. Got you. All right, and with that, we will get to the vote one by one. Each of you guys will be going to the voting booth to vote for the person you want out of this game and be the second member of this jury. Brandon, you're up. Majority has decided this. That's your fate. Unfortunate. 
say Reed only because uh, I think he's been awfully quiet lately and uh, it's it's a strategy I believe. Nothing personal, I just think he's a really smart player. Ninety-five percent chance I'm fucked. I don't know. Fuck. Sorry. So this is pretty tough, and it's also kind of unfair, in my opinion. Um, if you can't already guess, you're dumb. Psych. No. Hi. Once again, I'm gonna do no hard feelings. I love you, Tommy. That's why there's a heart. Same as before. Just doing what people tell me to do. Don't want to make any enemies, but shit's gotta be done. Alright, I'll go get the votes. All right, if anybody has a hidden muni idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right, when the votes are read, the person with the most votes will be voted out of tribal council immediately. First vote, Tommy. Second vote, Tommy. Third vote, Reed. Tommy. Fifth vote. Brandon. Rebecca. That's one vote Brandon, one vote Rebecca, one vote Reed, three votes Tommy, three votes left. Eighth person voted out of our city one district and the second member of our jury, Tommy, time. Sorry, friend, you have to bring me a torch. says that this is Stezoga or Stezoga, whatever, but it is clear with the last two Talladega members that that is not quite what it seems. We will start a muni challenge in a second and we will go in a circle. Next time on Survivor San Diego, the game gets even more personal with a Survivor Classic. Who does not deserve to be in the final eight? Uh, Bella, Bella, Bella. Or what about Rebecca? Rebecca doesn't deserve to be a top eight. She's a backstabbing lying ass bitch. In the matter of a week, the Splash Zone got splashed. Now it's like they're paying it off one by one. I feel like we pretty much cut the head of the snake. Reed's game is clearly on the line. My team got destroyed. But Brandon and Rebecca may be counting their chickens too early. We're gonna get to final four. I think it's already, like, we already have a majority. Unless someone snitches. I'm trying to formulate my way into getting into the big three for the end of this game. Sounds good, brother. Good talk. Good talk. And with the game heating up, the only thing more unpredictable in Survivor is life itself. I hope you're good. I hope your family's okay. It's kind of sad to see her go. I thought she would be one of the final contenders. Yeah, I'm looking for a necklace. Yeah, it's whatever, you know. You want a couple flashlights real quick? I don't know. I mean, just no, no real chance there, dude. When they have five people. So, I mean, it was just me and Reed, basically. So, I don't know. Our, our tribe just wasn't united like theirs is, I guess. I always knew, like, 
if they had a five person alliance that it was just you can really do you know at, at the point we were at I don't know I didn't deserve it I guess I was too overconfident so I would have aligned with people sooner just been a bit smarter with my moves I guess I don't know definitely think I made a few blunders but that's just how it goes I guess what's up guys uh, eliminated hey, villain here Back for another video here today. Oh, get off my cat! What? <laughs> Ronan's a bitch. 